Can you hear me? Yeah. I hear oh. you fine. How's it you going? Yeah, we're already on we're on Facebook. Okay, cool. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me go in and uh we'll get started in a minute. I'm still half yeah. asleep. You look great today. Thank you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I, I saw your video waking up in the middle of the night. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> that was good. So it's late evening here, so I have just been going on all day. <laughs> High <Yeah>. energy. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah the uh, last, last few days too, right? Yeah, like. Every, every single person that's come on the show said the last few days have been like just physically tiring and. Yeah. Know, uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, tired and yeah, so many things. And just an hour ago, I just have these uh, um, symptoms of uh, nauseous in my head and and some some back pain and just like my throat. Um, it actually started with the throat, just like um, yeah, something is going on again. <laughs> yeah, no, but it is all the time now. We can we cannot um, cut it out anymore. It's yeah. it's here and uh, yeah. okay. Sorry, I just need to turn up the volume because I almost can't hear you. So can you hear me? Yeah, it's fine. Can you, can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you hear me now? <laughs> I'll just put the antenna up. <laughs> well, Vera Ingeberg, yesterday morning. Oh, yeah. She was Such saying, yeah, she was saying. Um, well, she had a post, you know, they come up in the memories, the Facebook memories. They come up a year later, two years later. Yeah, yeah. But she had one from last year. She said I, she went ahead and put it up again because yeah, it, it was about a, the emotional impact. And she yeah, said, because a lot of people are going through that. She said, but we went through it last year. Yeah. What, but she said, so this time it's physical. So yeah. what, what you're saying is. So, is, Yeah. Yeah, but it, it has uh, been um, physical for me all the way. Uh, I was uh, have this uh, I had this walk in experience through uh, a near death, and um, and and the first uh, months, uh, actually year, was just massive physical uh, symptoms going on. So, um, and I think that this is actually very emotional too. <laughs> this uh, really? energy impact now uh, yeah i haven't i haven't experienced it um i think over here with morgan and my friend and um i've seen like uh, more like uh not emotions like anger and no, sadness, no. But like like depressed no. like like tired depressed uh yeah you know, and little, it it's because we are uh, revealing our true selves now. So um, and 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 everything of the of the fractions that I just made a post, but but it's it's kind of what's going on right now. But every fraction that shaped our light are just um, are just coming up because we are we are being whole now. So so everything is just like. Um, reflecting now and i think that what's going on with the energy right now is that we asked for this true us the true energy the the purity the the real thing uh the higher light the higher vibration yeah. and frequency so um so it just like all all comes up now uh but but we the 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 thing that changed is that we can see it. We can we can uh, be in it from a new perspective, um, from a new energy point of perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I feel this like um, if uh, it's it's very difficult to put in words for me uh, because it's it's just um, it just is. But. Um, instead of being disappointed, instead of being angry, instead of being sad, or, or all these um, lower vibrational frequency we can, we had been, been like um, forced into to be in, 
instead of that, we have this higher frequency, our higher self, our soul just like came down on earth kind of a yeah. way. So we can, we can, we, we still have the experience. The experience is the same, but the, the way we can handle it and, and be with it changed. Yeah, true. Yeah. I think that's wonderful. <laughs> I'm so uh, grateful right now. And it's just overwhelming this energy. You wrote a post the other day. Let me see if I can find it. It was actually <laughs> two weeks ago. <laughs> the unicorn. <laughs> no, I saw that one. No, no, okay. this one. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, cool. This one, this one said, I am getting downloads of Seven Ring Cosmos. Oh, yeah. That's so about, This is the part that caught my eye. Something about chaos over. Yeah. Something, something that will, that forever will change the universe in our lives. Does anybody have any information on Seven Ring Cosmos? Yeah. Did you, did you ever find anything out on that? Uh, actually, I have uh, been in, in some kind of contact with it. Actually, in the past few days, um, um, uh, let me see if I can just tap into that remembrance, because many things happen at night when I sleep. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, being a mom and all that, it's just like sometimes take me out of it. And we are on vacation, uh, my children and me. So I'm just like flowing into it all and not not being so structured of writing it all down but but the seven ring the, the cosmic seven rings let me see if i can just um get in contact with it uh it, it's it, i sense it like um this wholeness we spoke of and 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 that we kind of seek uh in the world and in us and in relationship and all that, like, 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 and, and also the wholeness is like the truth. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of uh, referring into that. Um, let me see. And, and I get the sense that it's happening in the body. Um, so this cosmic seven ring is attached to the physical body, actually. Um, um, I think it's a universal uh, energy, a structure of, of universal energy that we uh, now pull in to our physical bodies, actually. I wonder if that's related to the seven seals they talked about. We had a Huna on uh, a few days ago, and he talked a lot about the seals. Yeah, and I've, heard, and I've heard it before. Somebody else, I, I'm too, I'm still too groggy from just waking up. But uh, somebody else had talked about it. I know in the last ten days on the show about the seals, the seven seals. Yeah, and I haven't been on Facebook uh, much. Uh, actually, I just popped in uh, um, uh, yesterday when when you were on with um, with beautiful Vera. Uh, I just uh, like popped in when she when she spoke. Of actually us uh, also this uh, this new energy and 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 the channeling and all that. So so I haven't been listening to to much on Facebook. Um, well, have you actually have, for a few weeks? Um, I I have I have this um, need for for just like being in my own space and and just figuring out sorting out what's going on. What what direction does this? wants to take me um so that's why yeah so yeah. i don't and and i'm not that I, I just popped in as a walk-in so and and i had this um i have this funny thing that i don't want to read anything everything i know i know because um i i i, I sense it so so the seven seals um actually i when i sense it um this cosmic seven rings it's attached to the universal uh, um some kind of universal pattern and um and it also um <clears throat> it also uh, refers or, or relate to um let me see Uh, it's something about completion. Uh, I, I can only say what I sense uh, in me. Um, and 
um, I mean, I'm sure I'm sure it, it it will reveal itself. Also, also the thing about um, uh, Vera spoke of it yesterday. This this channeling. Um, uh, when I just uh, uh, had this experience of walking, I was channeling a lot. I was in contact with with all my consciousness in 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 Cosmo, and. Um, <clears throat> And I was um, I was channeling. Uh, they they spoke to me actually. But but the past um, three weeks or month about it has been very quiet. Um, in in like having this this form of communication. And actually, just before um, uh, I was um, sitting here having this talk with you, I went to my garden. And um, I, I, I just for grounding, just for like sensing the air. It's very warm in summer in Denmark. It's very nice, and um, I, I saw this rainbow and uh, and and uh, some kind of a sign on 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 the skies, and and they told me actually that the reason that um, we are not channeling as much uh, in this moment is that. We um, we kind of get got into um, an energy where it's all equal, so it's a new kind of, of communication going on now. Mm. Uh, yeah. So I was going to ask you that, but you know, the uh, first thing is, uh, so a lot of people the last few weeks have wanted to be alone. Yeah. So I think that's something that you know. That yeah. Everyone, everyone needs to know that if that's how they feel. It's not. And I actually think that that I think that it you have to you have to do that. I mean, like yeah. you spent so much time in our incarnations, especially this incarnation, being in the codependent frequency. And I know yeah. that sounds, that sounds like real extreme, but you know, we think of codependency and we think of like a toxic relationship, or you know, like a, a lot of us have been in romantic relationships where it was codependent. Yeah. But a lot of our a lot of our interactions with people, period, have been codependent. You know, yeah. so so that solitude doesn't allow you to do that. It it's allow you because to when when we are with, um, if we are not complete in our own power, yeah. then then we um, <clears throat> then we have have um, the thing that that we uh, can suddenly uh, switch into uh, another person's power or, or or like have the lack of our own power and and that's I think that's that is uh, where the co-independency do you call it that yeah. um, uh, um, occurs so so that's also the reason that if you if you seek your true power your true light or soul or whatever you call it Right. then you need this space around you to just ca calibrate it in yeah. you, integrate it in you, uh, because uh, we are still in, in, in a, in a 3d, 4d, 5d, <laughs> 60, 70, you can, you can almost not um, uh, uh, part it anymore, but, but many people are not aware yet um, mentally and physically. And, and, and so, so you will get of course you can you can you can um, surround yourself with light and protection and angel energy and all that but but also um especially empath just have this uh this energy of of sensing other people and when you do that um I think it's it's actually uh, um, we will learn to be around a lot of human beings and not do that, but we are just shifting energy. So there will be some switch forward and backward uh, still. Yeah. Have you, really, yeah. Yeah. Have you been? Uh, have you been uh, going to any uh, any meetings? <laughs> Have you been getting beamed up at all? Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I had, I have uh, tried that many times. Um, I, I have this um, 
uh, you say meetings, uh, but yeah, uh, I have um, council. You know, I mean, yeah, I, 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 know, and I, I think know. I'm not I'm not limited at all. Um, yeah. It's just a matter of choice in in what's um, in what I want to do. In, so if, if in you want to, yeah, if you want to, yeah, that, this is kind of what my point was. Mm. If 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 you want to go, you go. But I mean, I'm just saying, yeah. Uh, over the last, you know, like when we first met like three months ago, that was a very strong part of your experience was the galactic and the, yeah. councils, the councils and the information you were given. I'm wondering if since then, especially the last few weeks, as these things, yeah. as everything's elevated. Yeah. When, um, you, when you go into council or yeah. into any type of dimensional communication, does it feel like it's a beyond galactic level now, or is it still at a galactic level? Yeah, that's the thing, Todd. Uh, the galactic level is here now on Earth. Yeah, it made impact. So that's why we we are not. Um, uh, um, and 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 I can only be here now. So I cannot say if I'll. Uh, well, I think it's a uh, it's a month ago or um, a month and a half. And you know, I write this in 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 all my posts on on Facebook that I, I went um, to a ship and get um, something implemented. Uh, uh, they actually called it, um, uh, 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 what did what was the word? It wasn't like collagen or anything like that, you know, like plastic surgery? No, I'm kidding. Uh, it, uh, it, I'm, kind I'm of, joking. just more technical and, and lighter and, and more easy. Uh, nothing is cut open. <laughs> So, so we we of course do that by light um, and um, telepathic uh, fields and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, a template band <laughs> that was well, what it was. Uh, I got a template band uh, around my head again, and something was just like fixed. And I I came down again. I was very yeah. yeah that was just another day at the office, <laughs> you know. So, but but it has been quiet um, the the past uh, month actually, but I don't. I, I, and when I say it, uh, it's just behind my back. It's uh, they are here with us, and we are here. The galactics are here now, and um, and also I have I've been wondering, you know. Um, because, and I spoke of that, of the video uh, uh, last night when I woke up, that, um, that what's, what's my purpose? And, 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 you know, as we just spoke of this being around other beings and all that, um, like uh, trying to figure out what, what we are, the best way to do that is just to breathe in your heart and just be there, stay there and do not tap into to others energy and and think because it we are not the same we are so different energy what do you mean in in a in a wholeness we carry we carry different vibrational energy all of us some are uh, attached to to the same universal patterns and fields and and galaxies and dimensions and all that and um, but but everything we ever experience is what we are. Yeah, that's who we are. And um, I don't think that anyone have experienced exactly the same, uh, you know, moment thing in in, yeah. in in the same now, you know. So it it makes us different, uh, different. And and um, so so I, I uh, the past days I have been like. I also wrote in a post that I was just like out swimming <laughs> because when we, when we switch energy, when we change the energy, um, we are like, and, and that's, I think it's uh, that that's human. We are curious. We, we evolve. <laughs> we, we need to uh, get some kind of way if it's forward or backward or to the side or anything, we are curious beings. So, so when we switch in energy and when we shift uh, energy and transform, uh, it's very natural for us to, to just like uh, be uh, a, a little, um, you know, what is it? Uh, what is this? Uh, uh, where do I want to go? And that's why it's so important that you feel yourself and, and what do you really want? Because otherwise you will just like 
get um, flicked around <laughs> by everybody else's uh, vibration. So that's why we also need the the silence around us and and yeah. and be alone. Uh, do you find it? Do you find it difficult sometimes uh, during these periods to talk to people? Uh, yeah. I do too. Um, <laughs> a lot, actually, and 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 that's my heart. I, I love to speak to people. I love to connect. So that's kind of um, so, and and that's also just giving me a, um, a um, what do you call that opportunity to see where I want to go. Because if I feel this um, kind of I, I, my heart, when you say that, and and when I speak of it, my heart just like. <sighs> burst completely because uh that's the reason i'm here to connect and so so in this periods where um where i need the silence and and when i just like calibrate and and integrate new energy um i could feel um uh, a little scared or a little frustrated or some kind that I'm not following my purpose because I know I'm here to connect. So when I'm not doing that for a period of two weeks, for example, it could lead someone to, to be frustrated. Um, but I don't. Um, I actually see everything happening as an opportunity. Yeah. And this thing going on right now is us being us uh, there is some kind of degree of um this shining through completely um what do you, what do you mean us being us like um like, yeah like you said completeness or completion whole uh you mean like are like we separate like separate us from <laughs> actually um everything that separated us yeah and so yeah. Do you think that maybe, yeah, because that resonates. That would definitely resonate since the first of the month. Um, do you think that that's, that are we, are, is the reason that we're going through these physical, everybody's tired, they got these occasional pains, uh, and then kind of spaced out a little bit, like, like, you know, like, I don't know, like drowsy, a lot of sleeping, people were talking yeah. about that. Do you think we're integrating the wholeness? Yeah, the we are. We are. I feel it so much. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't have a personal purpose, just to integrate higher frequency. Just to integrate. So I'm just. Uh, I'm just. Um, I'm just an observator of what's going on here. Um, so um, definitely, um, we are being us now, uh, and that's also what I spoke of uh, in the video of last night. That that. So how does that resonate into us being one? <laughs> but it does. It does. Yeah. I, I. Of course, it does. I see that in in. But but the oneness. That's a very high, high, high dimension. Um, uh, just, um, if, if you, if you should put, um, uh, 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 um, um, a pattern around it or a measurement around it, it's just around source, the oneness. Yeah. And, and, um, so, yeah, but this is what's going on. We are, we are kind of, um, That's what um it, feels like. it feels like, it feels like integration. Yeah. For some reason, I it feels like now I hadn't heard I hadn't heard it described like you're talking about. No. To me, it's just experienced it more like on the individual level, or along with Morgan, and what yeah. I observe. But <clears throat> to me, um, I don't know. I woke up today and I was like, you know, we're all the same. Yeah. I, I know that. I mean, I, I get that we're all equal, and I've always yeah. been told or understood that we're all unique and yeah. unique like you were talking about but when i woke up this morning i was like you know what uh i know we're all the same but i think there is a group of us here yeah that is doing it early yeah like they talk about like way showers like you know whatever yeah. you want. but but i yeah. actually think that there's a whole bunch of people yeah. out there in the world that are actually feeling exactly what we're talking about at the same time yeah 
and uh and what did you say being who we really are now i mean and it's like yeah. okay it's landed the eagle has landed and yeah and it's just integration exactly. is just like okay this is the new the new way well and it's not going to go away and yeah. you cannot anymore re you can yeah you you can but it's it doesn't feel good uh but you cannot uh, uh i spoke of that too and you know being um a way shower can sometimes feel uh, a little uh you know awkward <laughs> or um <laughs> or also uh uh, you can feel uh, this kind of human loneliness because there are not many who actually resonates. And then many, many of us have the tendency and everything happens for a reason. I know that. But, but we have kind of um, a tendency to, to just go back. And, and we do that because we are here to, to raise the frequency. So that's why it happens for a reason. So, so we, we, we kind of um, reflect into those that are around us. Of course, we do that. Um, yeah. uh, because we do not like to feel alone. And we know that we are not alone. But as a human yeah. point yeah. of perspective, yeah. not anymore. But it ha not anymore, so. Uh, yeah, no, I get what you're saying, because it's like, OK, so what what I thought of this morning, it wasn't like, you know, anything uh, genius. It was just like, you know what, there are definitely some people. There's a lot of people here who are experiencing things at the same time that are maybe going through the physical or the, uh, the mass uh, or the big, next big wave is going through the emotional because we already did it and all that stuff. But what I was getting at is at the same time, you would think that these first waivers would be like oh i got it all figured out everything's fine no problem nothing triggers me but it's actually not like that it's actually like this whole uh whatever just happened and that this integration that that has come with it is a very human kind of thing it's like oh my god i feel so human i don't even feel like i could you know i could astral project or visualize anything or, or you know you just felt really human at times and then mm -hmm. the other thing i noticed is like you said we're reflecting off each other mm -hmm. so it's like multiple faces like you know you can see the divinity and then you see the shadow and i'm sure the same can be said for me right mm -hmm. so you see these people who are high vibrational and they're and some of the stuff that's being worked through is pretty extreme uh, loops that need to be removed and that haven't been, and that's not a judgment on myself or anyone else, but, but it's like, okay, you know, clean out the closet now. I mean, yeah, uh, you don't BS. No more pretending. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't pretend because <laughs> no, yeah, it's not working anymore. Yeah. I think, I think there's a difference between the physical discomfort of integrating the wholeness and completeness mm -hmm. between that and the uh, discomfort from not being honest with yourself and dealing with your shit, you know, basically, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, for the, and for the people that have been on track for a long time and have done a lot of work, you know, uh, if, we, if there's anything in there, it's just getting louder and louder, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and uh, because I like what you said about that reflection because it rhymes with projection. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So we get the mirror, but at the same time, if we're not if we're not aware, we will project. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's just it's just a, a very human. I don't want to say it was all human the last couple two three weeks because it wasn't, but the human <laughs> aspect was very you. much present, right? Yeah, and 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 that's what we do uh, because we are humans, but we are galactic human beings now and that is the first time it it actually happened in this way um like like no limits at all here on earth for human beings and we are just the first waivers it's gonna be like that for yeah. everyone yeah. and um and and yeah yeah 
it's, yeah, like it's and, and 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 then there is the how <laughs> how do you do that <laughs> how how can how can we do that and, and and there's so many things that that we can discuss actually you know so, uh, another thing yeah. that i noticed i'm going to ask you about this uh yeah. i didn't want to i just don't want to forget because i'm still sleepy but <laughs> so another thing that i noticed uh and then i heard from a couple of those around me and then people made the comments was like the team left like the team like there's time there's periods where the team is gone the crew is gone like your own team yeah like yeah your guides are just like okay where are you at you know no yeah you know they I mean? are there i know Trust they're there me. oh i know, they're, I know <laughs> it's they're just there. to get you higher yeah it's just like it's, it's like, just an well, opportunity it's, it's that solitude it's yeah that solitude i know but it's it's an opportunity they oh, give yeah. you that opportunity just to raise your frequency. Yes, I agree. But but I you know my point being that it seems to be kind of common. They leave yeah. for a little bit because I know, but there are the, there are um, a, a difference in your guides and um and um you know galactic beings here in purpose to help humanity and your own guides. So there's a there's a difference in that actually. Your own guides are always there. Galactic yeah. beings can be on other missions. Yeah. Yeah. So that's two different things. Yeah. Well, I, I your, think your own guides I, I, are always always there. Some sometimes the Pleiadians, Arcturians, Andromedians um and so on are actually having special missions that doesn't include us yet yeah just for preparing just for organizing orchestrating things and 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 when the, and i experience that a lot of times and and they always tell me that this is not for you wait it will be for you not now so there are there are and it's not a limit it's a way of it's it's a matter of energy it's it's just the way it is actually so even that i am limitless there are things that is not for me yeah kind of you know there are places i don't go because that's not my purpose yeah and it doesn't reflect my original vibration so are you traveling right now with your kids or are you just on vacation? They're out of school. Oh, I'm at home, but I will go to Egypt in 10 days from now. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do there? Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm going to do a lot of things, actually. Uh, I just bought the ticket and then I reflected in why did I do that? <laughs> so, um, so, uh, so uh, uh, and that's the way I am most of the time, just, just, uh, uh, I have this, um, uh, this higher self just taking over sometimes. And, and, and afterwards my human got to follow and said, what just happened there? Anyway, I am going to, I have a, a mission of, uh, um, um, in, in the first three months of my walk in, I have this scarab, I think you call it. It's like a, a little, um, animal thing <laughs> a scarab is it like a medallion it, yeah, uh, uh, yeah it's it's actually uh it's the energy of the scarab yeah uh, i've, I've heard of that golden, golden thing in me and i need to go down there um to um to uh activate um uh, i was told that it will uh, it will spread its wings and start spinning so um so that's but i'm gonna do many things down there <laughs> i'm going to the nile again <laughs> i have never been to egypt in this lifetime but i am i have um you know i have all my memories of my incarnations here and i was in egypt once um as a what do you call that i'm not sure of the of the word harem uh oh, you were woman. in the, you were yeah. in the harem a yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and I need to go down to the Nile again uh, by Luxor to wash my feet and hands. I don't know why. <laughs> I just need to do that. So um, you've been there before. Yeah. Yeah, this is a scarab here. 
right? Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> it uh, says here, an ancient Egyptian gem yeah. cut in the form of a scarab beetle. Yeah. Sometimes depicted with the wings spread. Oh. Uh, engraved with hieroglyph on the flat yeah. underside. Yeah. Uh, and so here's the... Uh, Here's the, uh, what does the scarab mean in ancient Egypt? It says it's also called, uh, in ancient Egypt religion, the scarab was also a symbol of immortality, resurrection, transformation, and protection. Is it from Wikipedia? Uh, I don't know where that's from. This one here is, would be it's, be it's better from Wikipedia. No, that's fine. That's fine, actually. Yeah, is, yeah it's is, from Google. Is, fine. Oh, wait a minute. No, this yeah, is, this is Wikipedia right here. Yeah. yeah. So so uh, so there's the there's the internet, and I love the internet, and I actually love Google. Google that helped me so many times because um, um, <sighs> yeah, I like that energy. Um, sometimes they just. Uh, uh, when they channeled uh, to me, they they always did that, always do that when they come through in English. That's actually how I got to speak English because they just speak to me in English. So, um, and, and many things I didn't understand. So I have to Google that. Uh, also the spire of the unicorn. Uh, and, and, you know, so when you, when you uh, actually uh, Google spire and the meaning of spire, it just like makes so much sense. In, in the use of that, how we use it. So how do you, how do you spell that? S P I R E. Yeah. S P I R E. Yeah, I think so in English. Is in that Danish, it's spear? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, spire. So okay. yeah, but it's a very very powerful. Um, uh, what can you say? Tool um, of connection. It is a connection tool. So this, I, I saw that post you did. It was talking about you. You got your unicorn spire back. Is that what it was? Well, uh, one year ago, uh, I was just um, guided to uh, to actually open the 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 energy fields of unicorn and dragon uh, energy in this area. I was, uh, I was, um, yeah. It was funny. Mm -hmm. And um, so, so, so when they tell me to do something, my guides, my yeah. galactic friends, yeah. uh, I of course go into that. And I did that. And, um, and you actually, uh, you can sense it now if, if you allow it, Todd, uh, this, this unicorn spire on your forehead. Um, and, and, and the thing you can um, uh, focus on is, is the energy. It is, it is um, going from the inner core of your head like this multi-dimensional sender so that's where you find the energy in the inner head <laughs> the the center of your head actually yeah so if you connect that area the center of your head then you can connect it up actually to your forehead and use the spire as an energy um antenna kind of to the yeah. special energy where it is um origin originated yeah. in yeah, yeah. cool it was very, wonderful. very cool yeah so you're headed to egypt and uh you're gonna yeah. go with my two children your, wash your feet yep i am and uh and i think that i will be back uh without children uh for a more um focused energy travel actually um because there is a mountain that's calling for me in Sinai, but I don't want to take my, yeah, I'm, I'm actually, it's just like making a big cross. I, I cannot take my children uh, with me there. Um, as the situation is apparently, I don't know. Um, but I will go there. I will go to that mountain in Sinai. Do you think, uh, do you think that you're going to, when you've gone before, have you had like dimensional experiences there? Like, have you gone in the pyramids or under the Sphinx or anything like that? Uh, well, I am. I have never been to Egypt physically, but I am in contact with with the pyramids. Yeah. 
uh, and that's how they opened the the dragon and the unicorn energy uh, field for me. They 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 took me to Shambhala and said that I had to open 137 uh, pyramid energies. So and that's like you know I have to take care of the kids and all that. So uh, so yeah. Well, it's 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 just it's just funny. It's just uh, and it makes me not feeling alone as a human. Having yeah. all these missions and tasks and, you know, all that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they got to understand you're a mom, too. What? <laughs> I said they have to understand you're a mom, too. Who? You. No, I mean, Me? your, the guides need to understand you're oh, a mom. Oh, they understand her. She's completely Pleiadian. She is, uh, she's just not ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all right. So, and people can, are you still, you still have your page going? I know you had. Yeah, it. yeah, I have. You have I it. am contactable. <laughs> You're contactable. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, and the page, I know you uh, had, it. it's in a different language, right? Uh, in, yeah. What's the name of I, it? Um, it's Vilja uh, Vai Lusa, The Will and Way yeah, yeah, in yeah. Light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So can. it's but but I'm actually just like um uh you know um also through my walk in uh, I was um <laughs> I was just like okay what do I do uh, so I created a group yeah. I actually just changed that to 5D light show because we need to show our light now So you have a group called 5D light show Yeah Okay, so this is a page, and you have a okay. Well, this, is, this is my page, yeah, but I'm not using that that uh, that much because I actually just like us being us. I want to just use my my page, uh, you know, my name, the who I am, yeah. uh, and and it's all just like um, uh, calibrating and all that. So so I just switched into post on um my private profile and just share it on my page and my group and you know so um uh i have this special need and that's also like the money race i i have never had a sense of money and yeah. i will never have it yeah. that's just a conclusion and i'm sick and tired of tapping into old energy and like oh you can create a business and you can make success and yes i can but it's not Forced by money. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not in the old way. Yeah, it's not in the old way. Yeah. So, and, and that's the way she was thing. Sometimes you just have to believe in yourself. That's right. <laughs> well, that's all the time. Know. That's right. Well, you have a good time in Egypt. In, uh, yeah, thank you, Todd. Right? And you have a blessed, beautiful day. <laughs> I will. I will. Okay. Talk to you. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, bye. too. Bye bye.